Attention, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids. This is your Grand Admiral Arnold, director of the video gaming division here at the Galactic Empire. And today, big topic. A lot of people have been asking me if I can go ahead, buy the hyperdrive bundle so people can see what they're going to be getting into if they buy the hyperdrive bundle. And people also want to see what's going to happen if they don't buy the hyperdrive bundle. Because, man, this bundle offers a lot of amazing stuff. And I have a lot of concerns for the free to play player base who will not be buying this pack, as I'm going to show you today. But I also want to make sure those who are going to buy it, you are completely informed on what you're going to get into and what it kind of looks like. Because as we see over here, I started another, yes, another <laughs> brand new account. This account just started up about five minutes ago. This account is the free to play account I started started the other day that's going to be spending zero money in it and then of course down here is my five-year-old account that has about eight thousand dollars invested in it yet yeah, it's, it's expensive to keep up with galaxy of heroes content but that is what i'm here for because i want each and every one of you guys to be informed no matter if you're free to play pay to play or in this situation you want to start dipping your tail in the little dolphin life but before we get started i want to give a quick 15 second shout out to a sponsor today who's going to help out with this video cue it in gary you know what time it is guys it's time to give a shout out to our sponsor in today's video for a couple seconds raid shadow legends if you're looking for a game that actually puts out a lot of content on a month-to-month -month basis check the link out down below if you're a new player you're going to get 50,000 silver for free as well as a free epic champion as part of the new player program time is a very valuable asset in galaxy of heroes the access you're going to get with this hyperdrive bundle is huge you're all automatically going to be able to basically master all of these battles if you guys saw my top 10 beginner uh, guide the other day i told you guys you got to master these battles and they take quite a while to do you'll be able to get access to the grand arena champions the most fun content in galaxy heroes in my opinion getting access to all the mod stuff getting access to zeta mats earlier and getting a head start with zeta mats inside of that bundle as you see here on my free to play account we uh we still got a long way before i can get access to things like the zeta mat material so getting a year jump start is what exactly that hyperdrive bundle is going to do for you it gets you quite a long way but the thing that concerns me the most for the free to play players right before we buy the hyperdrive bundle i want to show you this i started this account about two days ago and the biggest impact which is great for people who are going to be buying the pack but bad for people who are not going to be buying the pack as you see here basically the top 10 of this arena shard that i meant brand new two day old arena shard already has people basically monopolizing dominating owning this top 10 of squad arena and then you see all the free to play players all the plebs are stuck down here and what this basically means is that these people here in the top 13 they basically already have a year foot ahead of you they're already getting access to zeta mats they're already so much closer to the more dominating content like jedi knight rev and darth which is going to solidify their control in this top of arena and for me that's quite disheartening i was hoping that if you're going to start and you buy the hyperdrive bundle shards would kind of populate you with other people who started new and buying the hyperdrive bundle and it seems like that's not going to be the case and it's going to be very hard for free to play players to keep up try to crack into this because this is such an important source of chris so rip free to play in this situation a lot of concerns in regards to that so let's go ahead hop over to the new account and show you how you're gonna be able to accelerate quite a lot all right without further ado let's go ahead and buy the hyper drive bundle and there we go ladies and gentlemen not now it's time the whale here we go you have received the hyper drive bundle token i kind of want to walk you through so you can see every little step that happens remember that screenshot basically of everything being locked for you it's going to be a completely different ball game let's go ahead and take a little stroll down hyperdrive bundle lane oh level 85 what are you doing for me hyperdrive bundle lock resource you're going to get 2,000 crystals 20 million credits 500 energy jumped up straight to player level 85 so hey i don't need to play a couple months just get it right now 65 characters let's go ahead put it in the bag 13 ships level 85 star rarity some of these ships like the vulture Dread, are hard to get even for end game players a lot of gear pieces to start gearing up around a lot of stuff holy cow <laughs> well can we show me show me all the unlocked content now please oh yes oh thank you we're gonna get access to guilds i don't need to play a couple days today. oh i don't need to play for a couple months or grander in the championships my challenges my battles you can't access this until level 60 oh we got all those challenges mastered oh cantina battles thank you so much Woo! dark side battles let's get that squatter in it yeah baby 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 that whale life right here we're getting oh man it just literally this is insane i, I mean 
I did this the hard way, and I'm doing doing it the hard way the second time on the normal Gary account you guys just saw. Wow. And you're also going to get a bunch of quests. This doesn't really show inside of that bundle, but besides all the amazing resources you're going to be getting, like the Zeta mats and whatnot, there are also other things you're going to be able to get through these quests. There's about another five or eight so Zetas in these uh, challenges they set up for you that are exclusively tied to the hyperdrive bundle as you see right here spend 20 zeta ability mats boom you're gonna get another uh two zetas right there thousand currency that's gonna help you work towards another zeta map so let's go ahead and check out the other areas of the store right here all right so let's take a quick look over at the challenges it's important because there's carbantes for example in here that are always going to be important no matter what and what stage of the game you're at. and look at this it basically is almost all done with the exception of this very last one, which looks like I'm going to have to do it myself, but shouldn't be too hard. With level 80s, they kind of already leveled up some abilities. We'll take a look at the roster in a second. But if I wanted to, I instead of having to do this the hard way, I could just go in, sim it, and be done. Let's just do it for an example. Wow. You don't even have to start anymore. Wow. Same thing over here. They just don't do the last one. They're making you play the last tier. But again, if you don't want to do it, boom, right there. You're going to be able to sim the, 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 the second to last one. Taking a look at the roster and Gary Unleashed. Let's go ahead and just put this side by side with the free to play account. This is the advantage you're going to be getting. Look at this poor little account over here. All these characters that are going to take a long time to unlock. And over here, you're getting 65 characters. To level 80 right away got them the five stars and as we see they even have a lot of their build, uh, abilities uh, upgraded for you already already at level five as well let's take a look inside of my squad arena and uh, yes we're at rank 14,000 right now that's what happens when you join arena for the first and you get thrown really low in the pits but uh, let's see we only have how many people here again only about 13 players or so on this new shard that bought the hyperdrive bundle so me and whomever else bought these packs we're going to basically own the top 15 or so of this squad arena, which basically locks out everyone else below. So, because you're good luck trying to beat level 85 Vasashans or Palpatines with 36, 41s, and 36 Count Dooku's. It's not going to happen for quite a long time. And by the time these people who didn't spend money finally build up other semi decent teams. I, we're gonna have Jedi Revens. We're gonna have Darth Revens. Who knows how much farther we can be? This is probably the biggest hidden benefit of the hyperdrive bundle for people spending money. And I just I feel I feel very bad for people starting the game brand new right now. If you're not buying the bundle, if you can get over the fact that you might be locked out of the top 15 for a while and just find other ways to have fun, more power to you because you're gonna need to find another bright side to the story. Because I wish Capital Games would find a way to not screw over brand new players. This isn't this isn't a fun experience for them. Now the next thing I want to check out is is gonna be the zeta mat challenge uh normally free to play you gotta first get the level 60 to even access shift and then furthermore you gotta build the appropriate dark side fleet roster to make it happen and it so happens to be today is gonna be zeta mat day and all you gotta do i mean right away i could just sim this one right here wow we could just go you guys understand even a best case scenario for a free to play account let's say it takes you four to six months four to six months of pay to play players buying the hyperdrive bundle getting th uh, three guaranteed zeta or six guaranteed zeta mats every single week zeta mats are one of the biggest struggles in galaxy of heroes it's one of the most scarce resources and being several months behind free to play or possibly even more than that closer to a year but perhaps of zeta mat farming it basically the point is you kind of get stuck in this perpetual cycle of not being able to catch up to the hyperdrive bundle players man rip free to play i just kind of want to do this one more time this is the biggest hidden advantage end game players you're not going to realize this but for new players this is the the advantage that you it's hard to put a value on this getting several months ahead of your arena shard and zeta mat farming uh that could be worth hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands of dollars hopping over to fleet arena if many care about it again uh as you see oh man you're gonna get a nice big advantage in fleet arena look at all these level ones people your your shard won't even be able to access uh ships until level 60 so you can comfortably hold the top 10 and you're gonna be getting a nice steady stream of zeta of the ship of fleet currency which you can use to buy some characters like captain rex and whatnot or again you can try to further your zeta mats whenever they finally pop up the zeta mats in here at the farm but again Again, getting several months ahead, getting a lot of free currency in this. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know I feel really bad for free to play players right now, but again, this just really furthers my um, belief that this hyperdrive bundle is amazing. I want to talk about the journey guide. Now, the, the main problem of being a new player, as we see with my uh, free to play account right here, 
it's gonna be ages at least a while before i can start unlocking just basic legendaries like r to d to say click on him i can't do anything I, i'm basically kind of screwed i can't do much but now on this brand new account with the journey guide you can go right away start um like it says i can go right away and just start playing the grandmaster yoda went. we got five star jedi so we should be able to go ahead and be able to unlock a five star grandmaster yoda you should be able to unlock a five star emperor palpatine i've already kind of went in depth a little bit in regards to what characters you'll be able to unlock the very first second you uh you go and buy the hyperdrive bundle i'll show it on the screen real quick these are going to be the characters that you'll be able to get the second you get the hyperdrive bundle if you want a little bit more detail in terms of the value and, and like stuff you can unlock click in that card in the top right hand corner to the original video where i give you an overview of what the hyperdrive bundle offers but as you see this is where the fun is at because it's not fun rocking <laughs> rocking what is it clone sergeant and the ewok scout for the first however long until you finally get your first proper team together but it's more exciting be able to get all those characters those 65 characters that are ready to be used so you have a lot of teams you could be forming a lot of experimentation which is exciting for a new player and then you're gonna be able to unlock several legendary characters the very second you get this hyperdrive bundle and also let's go ahead and hop into squad and i'm gonna show you another screenshot in case you did not see the original hyper Hyper drive bundle a uh, video i put together there's a lot of great teams you'll be able to form right away in galaxy of heroes with the teams i'm showing on screen you can form a pretty good bastard team you can form an emperor palpatine lineup which is a very good very uh for the very beginning and mid game of galaxy of heroes so you'll be able to get some work done and because we get we get access to zeta mats really early we get those 15 zeta mats for free we get a lot of fleet arena currency and because of uh being able to do, do the zeta mat challenge really early you'll be able to start slapping on zetas in your first few days maybe even your first day of galaxy of heroes which is unprecedented that is months and months and months of progress we're battling this poor little person right here get out of here whale harder as we see here i did not do a single battle in dark side light side or cantina and normally it's going to take you a while let me show you for example it's going to take you a while to get to the let's say the last stage to finally get up here just to unlock the very last one it's going to take you have to wait till level 85 to get there and over here on this brand new account ah I can just start farming all the stuff I want to right now. I want Night Sister Zombie. Woo! That I, I can't put a price on that, guys. This I cannot put a price on. Time is so valuable, and being able to get access to this way sooner than your arena shard. I think if you're a brand new player, find Hyperdrive Bundle, you're gonna own your shard till perhaps the end of time, unless other people start wailing to catch up. Now there are a lot of important characters over on the fleet battles, and it looks like they are gonna require you to play this and so you are going to be held back a little bit for fleet battles but basically everything else is open for you i'll be able to play grand arena championships the next time it comes around but do keep in mind uh it doesn't seem like you're going to have a domination uh you're not going to be outspending your opponents here and grand arena championships there's more of a matchmaking that's kind of hit or miss but it's going to pair you up with people with a similar roster compared to yours now let's take a quick look over at the mod challenges and uh just to show you i believe as well they're not going to do the last tier for you which is going to be more important you don't want these four dot mods you want to quickly knock this out which probably shouldn't be too hard with our character you can bring in whatever you want bring in your bassa sean jedi team you should be able to three star this so again another advantage besides garnering zeta mats faster than all those new players jumping into your shard you're gonna be able to start your farm for five dot mods being able to try to build a bigger inventory of speed mods you're gonna you're gonna get several uh at least a several weeks uh maybe even months ahead of your opponents because you have to wait till level 60 normally to get here and then you got to build the right teams that are strong enough to three star all of these uh mod events right here <laughs> I just find it insane. I can even farm relic materials right now. And I don't really need them, but the fact that I don't need to three-star these missions to do it, it's just it's weird because on my free-to-play account, I have to go ahead and do that. In my opinion, Capital Game, you did create a fantastic bundle. I can't hundred dollars is too cheap. Hundred dollars is too cheap for this bundle, in my opinion. The amount of the benefit you're getting out of it is just unprecedented. It is a fantastic deal of a bundle. But I think capital games you need to do this for all new players that are coming to the game get them access to all these battles right away so they don't have to go ahead to restart these missions because this is a huge disadvantage to people who aren't spending money and just a quick comparison let me show you uh this compared to my my five-year account just because you buy this bundle you're not going to be the very best in galaxy here it's a great head start i again i think as i said a hundred dollars is way too cheap for this bundle it's probably worth more in the upper thousands to be honest because you can't really put a value on time and getting early access to those zetas dominating squad arena fleet arena and uh, mod challenges and stuff like that but you're not going to be top end of the gameplay. Don't expect this to be doing heroic raids. Don't expect this to be mastering territory battles. It's a good foot 
going into the right direction it's going to get you a big leg up compared to your opponents and you're gonna be able to start farming resources a lot earlier and getting access to a lot of legendary characters that makes the game kind of fun because we're so sentimentally attached to things like uh yoda palpatine some people might love uh bba uh, jedi training raid so ladies and gentlemen that's gonna wrap up our video for today i hope this video was educational and for those who are planning on buying the bundle you're gonna understand the value you're gonna be getting out of this whole hyperdrive bundle package and you're gonna have a much better enjoy, enjoy enjoyable experience compared to those who are playing the free to play i want to make sure people who are playing this game for the first time the free to play players and people who are kind of oblivious to this uh and uh, this, this this new starting point of the game because this is going to be an experience that you and i who've been playing for a couple years have not experienced because the hyperdrive bundle didn't happen back then and it's putting our new players at a pretty big disadvantage and i hope capital games can take some of this feedback today and make the the, the experience better not just for the hyperdrive bundle players but for all players to some extent thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video go ahead and hit that like button comment down below on your thoughts this is a big topic i want the community to get engaged in this because i think we all can try to make this game a little bit better not just for the pay to play players but for the free to play players be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing support the empire and i'll see all you lovely people in the next video peace out everyone